Hello. Well, uh, here I am. My name is Dom Domic, and uh, I'm the executive director of Surf Canada. So what am I doing here? Uh, <laughs> I'm not a scientist. Um, we are uh, the National Sport Federation, for uh, recognized by the Canadian Olympic Committee. So we're we play in the ocean, really, is what we do. So uh, as surfers, oh, we got a frame right here. As surfers, we uh, we're hyper aware of our ocean environment. We, um, you know, we're basically amateur meteorologists. We uh, always, uh, you know, taking a look at forecasts, uh, tides, currents. Uh, wind conditions, absolutely anything that could affect, um, well, waves coming into the coastline. So as you can see here, I'm from Victoria, by the way, Vancouver Island. Um, you know, uh, just to give it a little bit of scale, as you mentioned, you know, Canada's got the longest coastline on the planet. Um, you would think there'd be some waves on that coastline. And as you can see, here we are. This is a Tofino on Vancouver Island. And between... Tofino and the other town just down the beach, Uculit, we're looking at about 3,500 people. So in terms of scale, not a lot of people live down there or on the west coast of Vancouver Island. There's really no uh, major industry, no rivers coming from, you know, other cities. Um, so, you know, what would you think is quite pristine? And it looks pretty nice, right? Uh, here's one of our nice waves there on the west coast. The Vancouver Island that we keep uh, searching for, and once in a while we get it good. So, you know, so you know, what kind of problems do we have on on Vancouver Island? Uh, that's one of our national team members. Again, just a, a place called Clyquit Sound. So you may have heard that it's a, a UNESCO bio reserve, and um, yeah, looks pretty nice, right? Very clean. What what kind of problems can we have there? And you know, from a thousand feet up, it is absolutely pristine. It looks amazing, and you know most of the world thinks it's about as nice as it possibly can get. And from this view, it is. Um, I have a good friend, and all these photos are from a good friend of mine, Kyler Voss, who's a, a nature photographer from Vancouver Island, uh, there in Tofino. Well, you get a little bit closer from a thousand feet to about you know a foot above the um, of the beach, and what you see there is. Uh, insulation foam. So basically anything that can float is going to end up on the high tide line. So the same sort of waves that we look for to go surf are uh, the same sort of oceanic, oceanic conditions that bring in waves. So, you know, big storms and, you know, winds and giant waves and that kind of stuff bring in from, sorry, from what uh, Lisa mentioned from uh, the big patch on the Pacific hits the littoral zone, literally means where the ocean litters on on the uh, on the on the beaches, and so these are the kind of things that uh, you get. Anything that floats. So uh, this is just one little, you know, probably a couple, maybe one square meter of beach, and on the high tide line and and beyond, you will see literally meters and meters deep of oceanic plastic pollution. And when I was a kid. Um, Growing up on the West Coast, you know, we'd be chasing storms and, you know, might get some, you know, kelp ripped up and some fishing lines and you'd always be hunting down the, the coveted Japanese glass floats. That's what you'd be looking for. And you're still looking for those, but they're hard to come by. You have to dig deep now, <laughs> really, really deep. So uh, another friend of mine, um, Josh Temple, his son is actually on the national surf team and um, he's a former... Uh, commercial fisherman now a sport fisherman and uh, you know self-professed uh, one of the problems um, you know he grew up in a in an era where you know they'd be fishing all day collect their garbage and literally dump it overboard um, and you know he's changed that you know he saw you know just uh, recently that uh, you know those those times are long gone and you know that's that's how uh, things were done in the past and you know Having a having a son as a surfer, and again being hyper aware of, of uh, you know the the collection of plastic over time, and and what what we're doing to it has been, uh, you know, it's been a, a game changer for him, and he actually uh, is one of the um, directors of the Clyquit Sound cleanup. So, you know, every uh, 
so often, you know, when we get enough funds, we'll uh, we'll be able to go out to. There's a little island called uh, Vargas Island, just off Tofino. You could literally almost throw a stone at it, and this is where all these pictures are taken. So we're just cleaning it up, and this is in the Clackwood Sound. Um, and over the course of five days, you know, you can see the beach. We might have cleaned a couple hundred meters, and uh, we took away. Uh, I think we measured it around 34,000 pounds of plastic debris over just 100 meters. And when we came back maybe two weeks later uh, to pick it all up on a barge, um, the beach was already accumulated with much more debris. So it, it is a constant problem, and um, you can see the pile right there that went on the barge. And then again, this is just you know a couple hundred meters on the west coast of you know, what, what we all think of as a really pristine environment with no city nearby. So, um, you know, around the cities, you know, where I live in Victoria, beaches are clean because people live there. We all go down, pick a couple pieces of garbage every time we're down at the beach, and plus there's city workers and stuff like that. But you get out in the wilderness when there, where there is no people, it is heartbreaking. Like, it really, really is. And I can't imagine what the rest of Canada's coastline looks like. This is... This is just, you know, near Tofino. So um, this picture, <laughs> we definitely don't want to see where we live. This is actually in Bali. So Bali's having a, a huge problem uh, with plastic pollution. Uh, Corona uh, was just, uh, had an event there, a surf contest, uh, just a couple weeks ago. And yeah, these are the kind of th images that, you know, just. What do you say? You know, like, yeah. So anything, um, you know, I just want to bring awareness to this and and just be mindful about literally where how we got to this point and what what we can do to get out of it. You know, we we created this problem. We can create our way out of it. And uh, you know, as long as we're all uh, heading in the same direction, same objectives, you know, I believe we can do it. Thank you.